Now see, apart from the anointing, the blessings of God, the grace of God, the mercy of God, the favor of God. Are you listening to what I'm saying? These are all spiritual virtues. These are all spiritual virtues. But let me tell you, no matter the quantity of these spiritual virtues you have on your life, there are other virtues that may not be spiritual, but if you don't have them, you will carry anointing and still suffer. And I want to pray for you in that direction. Just two aspects of them. Number one, pay attention. In Isaiah 33 and verse 6, the Bible said, Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times. In other words, when your times are not stable, when the economy is not stable, when there is instability in your finances, when there is instability in your marriage, in your career, am I talking? The Bible said the only factor that can keep you stable is what? Is wisdom. No wonder Ecclesiastes 10, 10 says, if the axe is dull, am I talking? And the edge is not sharpened, more strength is required. But wisdom brings success. Can I tell you, sir, anywhere you see struggling, wisdom is absent. Yes, sir. Any marriage always in crisis, sir, wisdom is the factor that is missing. You have fasted, you have prayed, you have poured be beside that water on your marital day, and then crisis is still there. Then it means God is saying, it, Go and get what? Get wisdom. wisdom. Because the Bible says, Through wisdom, a house is built. No matter the anointing, when you lack wisdom, you can't build any home. It takes wisdom to succeed in ministry. What you see here is evidence that wisdom is at work the same anointing on his life can i tell you in those early days where the ministry was struggling one of the ingredients i was lacking was adequate wisdom the moment a man enters a higher realm of wisdom you will see breakthrough all over the place yes sir is anybody following yes sir. anywhere you see something working well go and check very well the guy running the venture is loaded with wisdom. Am I talking to somebody? And can I shock you, sir? Wisdom is one of the truths that Jesus brought. The Bible told us that Moses, the law came through Moses. I believe John chapter 1, verse 17. The truth, sorry, grace and truth, they came through Jesus. The church will specialize. And grace, 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 grace is not enough. Jesus didn't bring only grace. The Bible says grace and truth came through Christ. Am I talking? The, 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 the truth talks about the principles dimension of Jesus. Am I talking? Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Grace saved us from sin. Is that true, sir? Yes, sir. Grace brings supernatural virtue upon us. But for us to see success, see breakthrough, we need to operate by the principles, dimension of Jesus. Can I tell you that? The unbelievers you see that are succeeding, doing very well, watch this. They have set aside, they have refused to accept the grace dimension of Jesus. But I can tell you with every assurance that they are operating in the, in the principles, dimension of Jesus. Every, every business law, every success law, any law that is in oppression here on the earth, they are all traceable to the Bible you read and I read. Am I talking? So when people complain that we Christians, we are not prospering, but look at unbelievers that are prospering. Your problem is that you only know how to pray and fast. Thank God that does not fast. Thank God that does not pray on any mountain. But that Gote has either knowingly or unknowingly stumbled into the principles of Jesus. So he might, am I talking to somebody? If you watch Dan Gote, sir, he's into different dimensions of businesses. Macaroni, sugar, whatever, oil, whatever. Am I talking? And the Bible says, invest in seven ventures, even in eight. Is it not Ecclesiastes 11, either verse 2 or verse 6? Invest in seven ventures. Now, you are a Christian. 
you don't you don't have seven ventures of investment that God is not a believer he has multi am I talking so two of us now who is practicing the Bible I can prove it to you there are several ways unbelievers are practicing the Bible but we don't practice the Bible I pray for you stretch your hands towards the altar uh -huh. standing on the existing protocol connecting myself to the grace of God's servant the visioneer the angel of this house I speak over you let the weeks come back on heaven open up to you in the name of Jesus amen since your amen is not loud, I count you out. I pray for you again. I receive. Which some to manage your business. Amen. Which some to manage your finances. Amen. Which some to manage your career. Amen. Which some to manage your ministry. Amen. Which some to manage your marriage. Amen. Manage your relationship. Amen. Receive in the name of Jesus. 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 Amen. If you can even shout heaven like a thunder. Amen. Ah. The last prayer for you. Pay attention. Uh, uh, Jesus met a man who had been by the well, by the pool of Bethsaida. Is that true? Yes. For how many years? Huh? 38 years. Yes. Then Jesus came, asked him a simple question. Would you like to be made whole? Is that true? Yes, sir. The question requires yes or no. But the man answered out of frustration. What was his frustration? What was his answer? I don't have. That is, I have no man. Is that true? Yes. Sir. Was the question? Was the question? Do you have any man? What was the question? Would you like to be made whole? Yes. Sir. But the man knew that the reason I was in this condition for thirty-eight years was because I had no man. Because the Bible says, once an angel stares that pool, anybody who succeeds in entering, am I talking? The problem of that man, he was paralyzed. But he had no man to take him to the pool. So, for lack of men, that man suffered. He was in his condition for 38 years. Is anybody following? Yes, 38 sir. years. Then in the book of Mark chapter 2, pay attention. Another man was also paralyzed. But this guy that was paralyzed, he didn't stay long. I believe the guy was paralyzed on Friday, and then on Saturday they heard that Jesus was in town. And his four friends, they came. They carried the man on a stretcher. Is that true, sir? Yes, sir. When they arrived to the place, that place looked just like this place. Because when they came, everywhere was filled up. That was what I said. It looked just like this one. So there was no how to enter here. And the Bible said, those four men, they had to carry this man, they go up. They had to open the roof yes, and then lower the man from the top of the roof. In fact, I am still wondering the technology that made that a possibility. But somehow they took the pain and they did that. And the moment they dropped the man, Jesus, the Bible said, when Jesus saw their faith, not the faith of the man who was paralyzed, the faith of the friends. The faith of the friends. Can I tell you, sir? You might be very intelligent. You might be very productive. Am I talking? You, 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 you might be highly skilled, but you need a man to announce you. Yes, sir. You need a man to recommend you. You need a man. Am I talking to somebody? You need a man. As powerful as God's servant is. He, he, that, see, a lot of you people came here because somebody said, go to Holy Ghost City. What I'm saying is true. Yes, sir. Many of you are here because someone said, go to Holy Ghost City. Can I tell you, there are people who may be also heavily anointed, but their church is not filled. Why? They still lack men. They have the anointing, but they lack men. You can see resolve in your, in your spiritual father. Why? Apart from the anointing, he has the gift of men. Is anybody following? I hear you, sir. Stretch your hands towards the altar. Ah. Stretch your hands towards your spiritual father. Oh. I want to use him as a point of contact to distribute this grace of help of man hey, upon hey. your life. Ah. That same grace on his life oh. that has magnetic man to always be available whenever need arises in his life men are already there to take up the responsibility i pray for you hey. by 
by the authority in the name of Jesus ah. I compare the grace of help upon your spiritual father I command let that grace flow into your direction Amen. 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 one of the reasons beautiful ladies pretty ladies holy ghost feel speaking in tongues born again good christian good character one of the reasons mama they remain unmarried then another holy kind of a girl not even born again get married do you know why strong recommendation yes sir strong recommendation strong recommendation somebody will tell the brother i have a I, there's this girl i want you to marry she, he, he will paint the picture of that girl as if uh, she's an angel. Am I talking? Yes. But pretty girls are roaming around the street. Why? No recommendation. But one of the things God will do for you, this God of 11th hour for tonight, hey. is that God will connect you Amen. to men and women that will announce you. Amen. To men hey. and women that will announce you. Amen. To men and women that will announce you. Amen. To men and women that will announce you. Amen. If you believe it, have a fire seven times. Five, two, three, four, five, six, loud and seven. Somebody give Jesus some shout of praise in this place. <laughs>